Guys, we'll uh, we'll just start with questions for Jesse, and then it's immediately after Jesse's done, Sasha Klushin will come to the podium. Thank you. Yeah, I think, um, you know, it's been a good start and we've concentrated on uh, staying focused and not being satisfied, um, you know, and, and tonight we came out and, and from the start, I think, created chances and, and got the 2-0 lead and, and, and made sure that, you know, we, we weren't going to give it away. So we required Luis to make a couple of saves in the end, but he did his job and I thought a lot of guys had good nights and, you know, it's good to... Good to keep moving forward. We're not we're not looking back. We're only looking forward. Uh, Jesse, um, even if Sasha didn't score the goal tonight, do you feel this was his best game as far as his overall play and movement up the ball and things? Yeah, I mean, I think uh, overall our midfield overwhelmed their midfield, and Sasha was a big part of that. And we probably, if you were to now track balls that we gave away, we probably gave away too many in the middle of the midfield. And Sasha would probably tell you he probably gave away too many, but. Uh, we we don't focus so much on possession as much as we do reactions and tactical focus and pace of the game. So there's going to be mistakes, and even when guys don't have their best night, we still are uh, making sure that in all ways we're 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 being who we want to be. I guess uh, following up on that, uh, if this was Sasha's best game, would you agree that as a whole this was the best game of your young tenure here? Um. Uh, I think it was a good game for us and a good game at home. Um, obviously, getting an early 2-0 lead helps the game a little bit. But, you know, I, I think we've set the standard high for ourselves early on in the season. And I think we, can, we know we can play a little bit better. But at the same time, um, I don't think that the game was ever out of grasp. So, uh, you know, certainly I thought the job that Damian and Matt Miazga did in the back and, and eliminating space and time and chances for their uh, speedy speedy attacking players was good. And then Luis came up with some big saves. And, you know, if we're a little bit sharper around the goal, we can probably add to the lead. But, you know, in the end, 2-0 is enough. We're going to focus an awful lot on, on the offensive numbers from this game, but defensively, it looked like the back line was communicating well, was in sync, moving together as a union, unit. Can you just talk about the assimilation and, and how the team is acclimating, and was this the best performance of the back line, in particular, Matt Miazga? Yes, I thought Matt. Uh, it, let's start with Matt. I think Matt's gotten better every single game, and now this is his best performance. One is aerial duels, was reading plays well, when he, when he had to make tackles, he made tackles. He was good with the ball. So he was one of the best players on the night, no doubt. Uh, and then, yeah, I think there's clarity in the, in the back in terms of what their roles are and what we're, what we're trying to emphasize. They've executed well tonight. And we knew that that was going to be important because we felt like the game was going to be in their end a lot. And when we lost balls, we didn't want to see their uh, speedy attackers out running uh, in space. So for the most part, we did quite well with that. A lot about this week, uh, you know, the hot start you guys are off to, and yeah. not letting complacency set in. What was the key to that tonight? Because you guys got up to a little bit of a slow start, but then you know, kicked it into gear. Yeah, I mean, certainly scoring goals was was part of now, and getting the lead was important. Um, and you know, I think that even even if we didn't get the goals, we we were able to create turnovers and opportunities, and you felt like it was coming at some point. And then we were uh, we were we locked things down pretty well in the back. Uh, you know, and don't, I mean, we sh definitely shouldn't underestimate San Jose's attackers because those guys are tricky, they're quick, and for some big defenders, those aren't the easiest matchups. But Matt and Damien uh, held up well tonight, and then and Kamar and Duval did well. In terms of uh, um, things that can be better next time, uh, would you agree that set pieces can be worked on? Because a lot of uh, the corners didn't really connect with players. I thought the service. I thought this was Felipe's best game of service, though. And and actually, Bingham had to come up with some really big saves. We hit the crossbar on one. So I I, I actually think set pieces were pretty good attacking wise. And then defensively, um, we didn't give much away. There was one early that maybe I think it was Koval at the back post could have maybe tucked it in. But for the most part, I was I was pretty pleased with some of the service and 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 the runs. And and we were a little unlucky not to score a couple. Jesse, obviously. There's been a ton of conversation about perception with this team coming into the season and now the start of the season. 
you can't control where in the process you are, but I'm just wondering what you think it means for the perception of this team, A, to have the kind of start you've had, and B, to have the kind of performance you had tonight in front of the home fans. Yeah, I mean, I understand um, some of the things on the outside, right? And But I think it's time to move on, right? I think it's time to look at this team and say, this team's pretty good. And, and the way that this team's playing and the commitment they have to each other, and I think talking about the past is, is no longer worth any of our time. And now it's only time to talk about what this team's becoming and who they are and what they're showing uh, to each other and to the fans. And, I, and I, I, I said from the beginning that I wanted this to be a team that the fans could be proud of. Uh, they sh the fans should be pretty proud of the way that this team's committing and, and playing and, and aggressive and entertaining and fast and, and talented. So, uh, you know, I think it's time to appreciate this team for, for what they are. Jesse, can you talk a little bit about your substitutions and how many of them were went according to plan and how much were reacting to that brief period when San Jose were threatening to get back into the game? Yeah, I think you're always, at least this is our approach. We always go into game thinking about potential subs that we could make based on how the game might go. And then you have to, you know, watch the game and see what's happening tactically and see who's sharp and maybe who's having an off night and then try to make decisions based on what you think is best for the game. Uh, you know, we, we waited a little bit longer to make subs for this game uh, because we thought that for the most part the guys on the field had a good grasp on it. And then, um, you know, again, I think the guys who came in, Sal, Dane, and Sean all came in and, and impacted the game in a real positive way. And, w you know, we could have gotten the third or the fourth goal uh, quite often at the end. So um, partly it's now trying to analyze what's happening. Partly it's demanding the guys that come off the bench are ready. And then when they go in the game, it's performance. So overall, I think that that, that, that approach and that balance and how we've done things has been, has been useful. And, and I give credit to a lot of guys that they've accepted their roles coming off the bench and, and want to come on and make an impact. Jesse, you talked about how well. Right. Where are we going? Sorry, <laughs> that's all right. We talked. You talked about how well Damien and Matt had been pairing lately, and uh, does that make your decision a little bit tougher? Because you know, with Zubar, you know, coming back to full health, he wasn't in the 18 today, but presumably he's coming along. Does that make your decision tougher when he's full health? Yeah, it does. You're right. You're absolutely right. It does make it tougher. Um, uh, and that's that's the 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 job of a coach is to make tough decisions. I think that uh, again, we believe heavily in Ronald. Um, and, and I know that he's going to be an important player for our team. Uh, we have a chance now with three games coming up in a week to now look at different things and now rotate guys so everybody will get their opportunity. And then moving forward, you know, we'll continue to figure out what decisions we need to make and what's best for the team. We'll take two more questions. Jesse, just to go back on the back line, obviously last year Miazga was thrown in there and uh, Duvall was thrown in there as well. How impressed are you with Duvall? Because we were talking about Matt, but... How impressed are you with Duvall, how he's quickly becoming a solid right back for your back line? Yeah, he's done great. And I felt early on that he was going to fit the way we want to play really well. Um, he's got great qualities as a player, and he's got great qualities as a young man. He's focused. He's never satisfied. He works hard every day. And, uh, you know, then you, you add the physical and soccer qualities and, and you have a pretty good package there. And so I think the ceiling for him is big. I, I, I felt all along and I've told him this, that people are going to recognize the job he's doing. And it's only a matter of time before that starts to be part of the dialogue. And uh, if you look so far this season, I think he's pretty much outplayed every player he's played against. And I haven't seen too many right backs who have been playing better than him around the league. So been a really good start to the season and, and we all you know we expect him to keep going Jesse um, Sam came off injured any insight uh, as to the extent of the injury yeah w w it'll take some time I think he felt a little something in his hamstring but it'll take a little bit of time to evaluate and see where he's at hopefully he'll be okay thanks Jesse good thank you Sasha will be in momentarily We'll now take questions for Sasha Kleshin. So finally, you get back and uh, you score your first goal with the Red Bulls. Uh, how how you feel about scoring? And uh, was that a somewhat of a set play to get you in there? 
No, I don't think it was a set play. I think I just found my way in the box. We created some turnovers in, in the first half, and we, we created a few chances off them. It's nice to kind of get the monkey off the back, and I hope that it's the first of many. Sasha, you talked to, you talked about uh, you know the fact that in your, your past you've been more of a deep line playmaker, and now you're playing more advanced, closer to goal. Uh, has this been your best game in, in far as, as far as you know that kind of transition into that role? Uh, I don't know. I'm not too happy with with my performance tonight. If I'm being honest, I think uh, a lot of us weren't our best today. I think besides the result, we didn't do a lot of great things. So. We've got a lot to improve on in me personally. I think I have a lot to improve on as well. Sasha, obviously you have to uh, play within yourselves and uh, you know chart your progress by what you guys do. But obviously you know the landscape in 2015 and what came right before, and you know and and the team on the other side of the river. How significant do you think it is in terms of the perception of this team that you guys are off to the kind of start you are early? I don't want us to get ahead of ourselves. Um, a lot of you guys didn't think that we would be very good this season. A lot of you guys didn't think we would make the playoffs. We always had a very good belief and a good mentality in the team. But as you see in MLS, I, I heard Shep Messing say it, and I kind of liked it. A lot of teams start drinking the Kool-Aid, and they start thinking they're good when they have a good start to the season. So. And, and then they falter. We don't want to be that team, and we're not that team. So I want our mentality to stay good. We've got to continue to push on and, and continue to do good no matter if we're number one in your power rankings or if we're on the top of the East. We just got to keep doing what we're good at, and, and I hope that we'll stay on top of the East for the whole season. Just to follow up on that, do you think it's important that people notice you early just you know, given that there's this other team, given that there's so much, there was so much negativity going into the we're going to continue playing this season with a chip on our shoulder, I think. It's always nice to get some recognition, and, and I think people around the league are starting to respect us pretty quickly here with, with our good results. But, you know, every time you play a game, you all start back at 0-0, basically. So, like I said, we don't want to get ahead of ourselves. I want our mentality to stay really good, and be, and I want that to be our strongest point all season. You know, not just at the beginning, not just at the end, but through the whole course of the season. Uh, Sasha, Jesse a couple of weeks ago talked about you know you taking your time a little bit more on the ball and seeing the game differently. Has that come into effect uh, these last couple of weeks? I think it's been a little bit better, you know, day by day. I think my relationship with Bradley is getting better. I still think I wasn't as sharp as I should have been tonight, and I could have created maybe three or four more really goal-scoring opportunities. But it's getting better, and it's nice to get on the score sheet because that kind of you know gets the monkey off the back, and then you kind of feel a little bit more comfortable in front of the goal after that, not so stressed. So in that aspect, it's okay. But like I said, I think we we need to continue to keep getting better. We'll go to your left. Uh, the team's gelling together really well, and uh, it seems that there's a cohesion that's been uh, really fast to come about. Do you credit any training ground drills for that? You know, Jesse is a is a big part of the mentality. I think the way we train is the way we play, and so you know we play for a winner every day. And there's battles every day in training. Who's going to win? And guys are talking crap to each other and things like that. And it's great. It's it's great for team camaraderie and it's great for our mentality. So when we show up and we train at 80 or 90 percent, Jesse lets us have it, and he says that when we come to training every day, we got to be 110 percent every day, all in. And so. When it comes to game day, that's our motto as well, that we're 110% and we're all in. So, you know, we're trying to, to, to bring it from the training ground into the game. So far, it's been okay. Sasha, just to follow along that theme and the uh, question before, the chip in the shoulder, you know, minus the superstars, is the chip kind of like we're going to do this without any additional help? Because it's obvious the team is bought in. There's an amazing chemistry going on. Uh, is that part of the chip, you think? Maybe a little bit, but I think there's always a chance in the summer that they they bring a player if we need some help. Um, and that player better be all in as well. And so I, I believe in what they're doing. I think between Mark de Grand Prix and Ali Curtis and Jesse Marsh, they're, they're building this thing all together. And, and they, they all have the same motivation and the same mentality, and that's funneled down to the players. I think it's been great so far. The mentality has been awesome, and I think you know that chip on our shoulder will be with us all season. We'll take two more questions down front. Sasha, you've me you mentioned the battling and you mentioned the commitment. Um, it was a physical game tonight. I mean, was at least 
that's something that you kind of could draw upon, even if some of the, the final touches weren't there, that you could see that the, the team actually battled for each other? Yeah, I think we battled better than we did against DC, because DC came out last week and kicked the crap out of us, and I don't think we responded well enough to protect each other and also just to fight back against them. Tonight, we were pretty good winning the battles. I think Matt Miazga probably won 99% of his, his head balls, and so did Damian Perrinell. So that sets the tone for us. And uh, I think the battling was pretty good tonight. We just need to clean up those touches so we'll feel a little bit better about ourselves. All right. Thank you, Sasha. Thank you.